The FIM 110FF includes the Windows-based Foundation Field Bus configuration tool called FFConf. Please install the FFConf by using the setup on the CD-ROM. After successfully installing the software, you will find the program under Start, Program, Softing, FFConf, FFConf. The following steps will show how to use the Softing FF configuration tool to create a Foundation Fieldbus H1 project. First of all, you have to create a new project. Please click in the menu on Project and choose New Project. Choose a name for the project and click on OK. Now you see a screen with two device symbols. The green symbol is the PC and the brown symbol represents the Ethernet card. In our case, both have the same IP address. To add a linking device, first select the Ethernet card and then click on the green star icon of the linking device in the device library. Next, you need to assign the IP address of the linking device. This IP address has to match the actual IP address of the linking device. In addition, you need to enter the correct device name. Now it's possible to add up to four Foundation Fieldbus H1 links on this linking device. In our case, we just add one by clicking the right mouse button and select Add H1 Link. Now you can add Foundation Fieldbus H1 devices to this H1 link, and here is how you do it. First, select the corresponding H1 link, and next add a H1 device by clicking on the green star icon of the device in the device library. If you cannot find the device in the library, you can add it to the configuration tool by importing the according device description file. Now it's time to display the life list and assign the device. To assign the device, make sure it's in the life list display. In the network configuration window, perform a right mouse click on the device icon and select Assign. If everything is configured correctly, the device receives a green dot. In case of an error, you will need to check if the device description, DD file, matches to the device listed in the life list. Now we can build and download the project. After a successful device configuration, we are ready to configure the function block application. First, click on Block Library and then choose the required blocks. For our demonstration, we only select one AI block to show the process value of a device. After the function block application is configured, save and download the new configuration. You can view the process value by clicking with the right mouse button on the AI block and then select FB Parameter View. Here we see the window Parameter View. You may click on the button Read All to display all currently valid parameters of the function block in the column Actual Value. You can also enable a cyclical read. In this mode, the software performs a read command for the function's block parameter every 5 seconds. If you like to see the current process value, you have to make sure that the AI function block is in auto mode. To transition the function block into auto mode, we have to change the settings of a few function block parameters. 
The following steps apply to our sample application only. Please note that for some applications, devices, these parameters have already the correct value. L-type to direct or indirect. Channel to the value which should be published. Then set the block from OOS, out of service, to auto. To write the parameters directly online in the function block, please click first on set and then on write. If everything works fine, then you will see the process value.